She needs to caffeinate up before we make more coffee. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> How you doing? Great now that I've had my coffee. In today's video, we're preparing coffee in different ways. I don't know about you, but I mm -hmm. am obsessed with coffee. Coffee shops, coffee, cold brew, different processes on how to make my coffee. I was psyched when you brought up this idea. Yeah, in 2006, there was a scientific study done where they cooled their beans down to minus 321 degrees with dry ice, which we have, and liquid nitrogen. I'm sorry, what temperature? Negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. That is like, it's really cold. Like really, really cold. <laughs> yeah, so we've got access to some special things here like the liquid nitrogen, the dry ice, and then we have a freeze dryer too. Here's the basic idea. We have dry ice, liquid nitrogen, and we are going to freeze dry our coffee beans and see if we can get a sweet flavor instead of more of an acidic flavor out of our coffee once we brew it. So Nick Juhas did this with liquid nitrogen and then tested it against just a regular hot brew coffee. And the idea comes from the 2017 United States Barista Championships. His name was Kyle Ramage and he used dry ice and liquid nitrogen to cool down his beans and then he ground them up and he won first place. He had the best tasting coffee. How do you become a judge for this? Because I think I'm highly qualified. I taste many coffees. <laughs> this coffee is bitter. This coffee is sweet. sweet. I'm um, very intrigued by yeah. this process. Me being the coffee person that I am, I know that the difference between cold brew and brewing your coffee in a coffee maker, mm -hmm. your coffee in a coffee maker is much more acidic because when you warm up that bean after it's been ground up, you're releasing that acidic flavor into the coffee versus a cold brew where you're basically just pulling the sweetness from the bean itself. You're not pulling that acidic flavor, you're not pulling that bitterness. So I'm very interested to see if these coffees are going to be sweeter when we do all these different cold processes and the colder we can get those temperatures, I think the sweeter our coffee blend is going to be. So we went shopping and we just saw this coffee. It's called a Death Wish and it's called the world's strongest coffee. Like we, we gotta Highly do it caffeinated. I'm gonna put out a couple coffee beans here. So they're fragile. So, you know, if you push down with your thumb, they're supposed to crack, which it does. So here we go, it cracks into a bunch of little pieces here. And when you bring a coffee bean below 58 degrees Fahrenheit, it gets extremely more fragile, enough to the point where the breakage is consistent. So that's what we're doing by cooling down our coffee beans, is so that it's going to be a more consistent ground coffee when we put them in the food processor. We got all of our different types here. So the dry ice and the liquid nitrogen, we'll put the caps on these to seal them because we're actually gonna grind them tomorrow after we freeze dried a batch. Because it does take a little bit longer for us to do this process because we are freeze drying one of our batches. So we're gonna have that process happen and then first thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna have some beautiful, beautiful coffee. It's gonna be a good breakfast. Such a good breakfast. All right guys, so it is the next morning. We've taken out our freeze dried coffee beans. So something I didn't mention yesterday is so the freeze dryer cools them down to about negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit, but then it warms it back up. So it freezes it and then that drying process, pulls a vacuum, heats it up to like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So they're not gonna be the same as our cool beans with the liquid nitrogen and the dry ice that we're gonna be grinding while they're cold. So these got cold and then they warmed back up so it'll be interesting to see how the taste is different from the cold ones and then our control too. I'm interested because as we had talked about before, taking those temperatures really far down and then when you heat a coffee bean back up, you're releasing that acidic taste. So I will be interested to see if these are going to taste a little bit more acidic than our ones that we are cooling to super low temperatures. All right, so let's cap this off and then let's get freezing on the liquid nitrogen and the dry ice. And have some fun. Woo! We did measure out the coffee beans and it's going to give us eight cups of coffee per pot. So I've pre-filled just my coffee cup here or my coffee pot with eight cups. And the way I did that calculation was I did every two teaspoons. So we had 18 teaspoons. And so we actually need nine cups, but I just rounded down to eight. So our coffee's gonna be a little bit stronger. strong. We already have Death Wish coffee. <laughs> I figured we might as well not dilute it and take away its Death Wish because 
I mean, we need the caffeine this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a, we'll start the timer and then we're gonna start grinding this up. I'm gonna do them both at the same time. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Nice! Success! <laughs> Dude, perfect, let's see you do that because I bet you can't do that. <laughs> so we decided to pause it at 30 seconds to take a look at it and see how we're feeling with the consistency. Um, Is I... it, because we're not making espresso. Espresso has really, really fine Super grounds. Super fine, fine grounds. A uh, French press will have more coarse grounds and then our Mr. Coffee machine here is somewhere in between. I think we can get a little finer. I think our speed might have been too high. So I think we do 30 seconds high and then we do maybe like 15 seconds slow speed. Okay. We got that brewing, so we're gonna do the dry ice. So we got a hammer, we got a glove because it's cold. Okay, now we got our liquid nitrogen, as you can see. Have with these guys hang out over here. Yes. Yes. We're gonna put beans in liquid nitrogen. So before we put the beans in, let's look at the temperature as well. So we're saying liquid nitrogen is normally at negative 321. I don't think this thermometer goes down that much. We'll put it in here and it just says low. <laughs> low. <laughs> it has broke. You broke the thermometer. Low, we love it's that. it's too low. <laughs> nice. Check this out. We poured a little bit of liquid nitrogen onto our beans here and look, they're, they're white. Right there. They're just cold. Get down the temperature, little friends. Look at them in there. They're getting cold. Now, this is the test I wanted to do, right? I'm gonna take a coffee bean, put it out here, and just squish it with my thumb. Oh, wow. Oh, that was super fragile. Very fragile, broke very easily. I'm gonna do one more. Super fragile. Pull it out with the thumb. Woo! Listen to that snap, crackle, and pop. It is breaking easier. I won't say it's breaking into smaller, finer grounds yet, but it's definitely more brittle. For sure. This is uh, definitely a tedious process, but it works. Our coffees are all ready. I'm so excited to taste them. Cheers. Cheers. Well, it's a good. It's a good cup of coffee. Oh, I would drink this yeah. every single day of the cup, week. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Ten out of ten. So definitely, definitely good. Definitely a good bold flavor. So I'm interested to see because that was very acidic. I don't know if you thought that, but I felt like it was very, very acidic. Still and feel it on my tongue. Yeah. So next up, freeze dry. It is sweeter. It feels lighter. Much, much lighter, much lighter. than this one. Not nearly as acidic. Yeah. Not watered down, but lighter. It has that sweet like aftertaste where the control had like a very bitter flavor that sat on your tongue. It's a smooth finish. Very, very smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, hmm. that one is better, I will say. Yep. Next up, a liquid nitrogen cup. I think it looks lighter. I think it's gonna be much smoother. All right, you ready? Yes. Cheers. Mm. It's, what's it? Not, I don't know if I wanna use the word bolder, but it's like thicker than the freeze dry with still the smooth. So it's like a bold smooth. It's so smooth. 
Like if I had to choose one to do, as of right now, liquid nitrogen, I would freeze all of my beans and take them down to that temperature. This is just a really full body without the acidity, which I really like. It is a little bit lighter, so obviously mm -hmm. with the color, but in the taste, it isn't a, a punch full of flavor, but it's a good flavor. So right now, I have them up in my order of preferred, secondary, and third, in terms of good flavor. Mm -hmm. So if we've done it right, like the barista championships, they got it down to 321, that was the liquid nitrogen, the dry ice isn't supposed to get that cold, so it should fit in here in terms of flavor profile. Which might be the perfect like blend. We'll find out. Cheers. It's like a lighter bitter. Yeah. It's like watered down bitter. Well, if we're putting it in terms of like what I want to drink, this is actually going over here. I would prefer liquid nitrogen, freeze dried, control. Like that gave me chills. It was just so ice. like. Ooh, she's got the goosebumps. Bitter. Um, I think this one for me and preferred. That's hard because I really like a strong coffee. But if I were like to pick one of these, I would definitely pick the liquid nitrogen. I'm really digging the liquid nitrogen one. I'm just really fascinated by this dry ice. It just like didn't do it for me. Dry ice didn't work. But I still am just wanting to drink it. Drink it? Because okay. Because it's early and I'm still not She needs more coffee? So we got our Monday morning coffee with the control. We got our weekend casual coffee. This is the like- Liquid nitrogen. This is like the hotel that? coffee that you burned. Oh. <laughs> like. That's why mine's way over there. Yeah, definitely. So I think we have the same order of preference here. Mm -hmm. Like in terms of flavor, we're talking about bitterness, the smell, color, liquid nitrogen freeze-dried control, dry ice. Any final words? Nothing, just if you are interested in taking your own coffee beans down to that temperature, highly recommend that to get that bold but smooth flavor. If there's anything else you wanna see us do with these coffee beans or coffee maker or different types of coffee, please let us know in the comments below. We would be more than happy and I would be more than happy to experiment with coffee, oh, coffee. every day of the week. <laughs> So until then, we're just gonna sit here and sip on our coffee and wait for your comments. Oh, you picked control. Mm. It's not Monday. Hey guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there. That way you don't miss any of our new videos. Check them out.